Hey, welcome to another day in my life. Today we are going to be baking, setting up my Christmas tree, and I will be sharing my family with you guys. This is my little granddaughter and my grandsons. They spent the night this last weekend and we were having a big breakfast the next morning and that is what we're getting ready to do right now. We are going to be having my daughter and my son-in-law come over and this is like a big thing for us. Every time we set up our Christmas tree, we make it like a big event. So we always do it together when it's our turn at our house. She comes over and we make it a big thing. And this weekend coming up, we're going to her house because she's going to be setting up her Christmas tree and her decorations. And we're just going to be, you know, having a big breakfast and just spending the day together. So my husband was in charge of the bacon, as you can see here. I started with the coffee because even though that we were making breakfast, we knew that today was going to be taking a little longer because I was trying something that I'd never tried before. And you guys are going to see the struggle, but we needed coffee first of all. This day was actually a cooler day and it was raining though. So you're going to see that later. My husband was putting up the Christmas lights outside, but he had to keep stopping because it was raining. Ultimately, he did it. Now, this is all preliminary stuff that we did today. It's not finished by any means. And even from the time I recorded this video to the time I'm doing the voiceovers, I've done so much more and I might add a clip of what it looks like now just so that you can see the full effect and I feel like it's still not done. But anyways, on this day, my little grandson just woke up, side note, he, the last one to wake up was the four-year-old and we all came to say hello because that's what we do because he's so adorable. <laughs> anyways, on this day, I was attempting biscuits from scratch. You guys, the struggle was real. So I just got into baking recently and I really do enjoy it. But if you guys are new here, I do struggle with like following instructions. It's not something that comes easily to me. And I know that it's, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it might sound like a strange thing, but honestly, I don't know why. Just following instructions is really hard for me. So this had a lot of instructions, especially because I was cutting the recipe in half. So I was kind of like, oh my God. Anyways, so spoiler alert, they did come out pretty good. Shape-wise, not the best, but they came out really delicious. For my first time ever attempting this, I'm super proud of myself and I'm just gonna keep trying to do it and until I perfect it. You're gonna see in a minute how it came out. So this is my son-in-law right here. My daughter and my son-in-law had just gotten here. So now it was time to get things rolling. I was getting the eggs going and my husband had the bacon already ready for us to go. So the biscuits were just about done. And you guys, I'll tell you, it came out so good. Now tell me this little girl is not the most adorable little thing you've ever seen. You guys, if you don't know me, I just have to put it out there. I mean, I'm sure I'm not special in any way but i'm telling you i love these kids i love my grandkids so much that i can't stand it and look at the biscuits look at them they came out pretty good and they were a little wonky shape wise but as far as the taste is concerned they came out really really good so now what we're doing here is i'm starting to take down all the fall decorations and something that was really different this year, I really wanted my home to feel like a little cabin. I wanted it to be super cozy and super, super classic. I am definitely feeling nostalgic, especially because we lost my mother-in-law last year and we lost my mom this year. So I'm really like just wanting to do things the way we used to do it when we were younger, when the kids were little and we just had a very happy home filled with like old Christmas from the 80s and the 90s and some of these things came from my mother-in-law like that Santa Claus was given to me by my mother-in-law so that Santa Claus right there that dancing Santa Claus was also given to me by my mother-in-law so the big thing this year is very nostalgic and very classic Christmas 
So while I was taking down the fall decorations, my husband went to Home Depot to pick up a ladder to do the lights outside and he went to Publix to pick up a few groceries for lunch and that was the mess that you saw in the back while I was trying to do my coffee bar. Don't worry, you'll see it all complete in the end. So this is us outside. We just wanted to see how it was going and my little pumpkin, so cute. <laughs> so even though I was wearing a Christmas sweater, I am kind of wearing a Christmas sweater because we all know that Jesus is the reason for the season. And this was my daughter's sweater that we picked up last year at a Christian conference that we went to called Chosen and Free. One of my favorite things about the Christmas season is that we get to spend, I feel, a little bit more time with family. I love my family. I wish they all lived nearby. My husband and I have four kids and 10 grandkids, and my daughter is the only one that lives nearby. My son is still in Florida. I have a stepdaughter in Colorado and another one in Ohio, and we don't get to spend as much time as we all like. But around the holidays, I'm hoping that going forward, we make it a little extra effort to just spend more time together like we used to do when I was younger with my family because we were all in Florida. Everyone was in one place together. And I don't know, that was just to me the right way to spend Christmas. My daughter gifted us a fudge making kit and she decided that it was time to make it instead of holding on to it. So that's what you're going to see in the next uh, few moments. You're going to start seeing her make it and put it all together and it actually came out really, really good. So the thing about my tree, I just bought this one because I had another one, but because we have two stories, we're going to put one upstairs and then we needed another one for downstairs. So. That's why we got this one. Though I love the flock trees, I was actually not really thinking when I bought the tree because I was wanting my Christmas to feel, like I said, very classic. And I feel like that's more of just a green tree. So it didn't turn out exactly as classic as I would have liked, but I'm going to be adding more things than you're going to see here. And... I think when I'm done, it's really going to feel like a little cozy cabin, homework-like Christmas. And this is how the fudge came out. How good is that? And it actually tasted really good. Just wanted to give my wreath a little shout out because it was so pretty and so Christmassy. And now the kids and everyone was helping to put the ornaments on the tree. And it was so cute because she put four ornaments in one little spot. And my husband and I have not had the heart to remove those four ornaments, like those right there, they are still on the tree just like that and they are going to stay like that. And of course, the big boy had to hide inside the box. He's so funny. And of course, all the other ones had to do it. And now we gave the, <laughs> that's funny. We gave the task of putting the star on the tree to the little guy because the older one had done it many years before he came around so we decided to let him do it this year and this is pretty much how the tree turned out but like I said I have been adding a few more things to the tree so I am going to share a clip of how it all turned out before the video is over. Right now I'm just taking all the things initially I thought I was just going to put this village here like this and then I'm like what am I thinking no so I redid it all took everything out oh another thing since the last time I recorded this, I got curtains. I've been waiting to put curtains in my living room for months. We got a, some in the other day, we set them up and they were too short. We had to return them, get new ones, but now they are up and they are beautiful. And you guys will see that shortly. So since we moved to Georgia, we have been living in the country in a small town. And because of that, we've been seeing a lot of deer around and I've become obsessed with them. Like every time we go for a drive, I want to look out for them. And that's why I had to buy these two little deer because they're so cute. And then this village is inspired by my book, One Christmas With You. And this, of course, you guys know, Nativity Set. This is a small one that I bought last year while we were in Florida, but I want to get a bigger one. So that is still in the works. And I've never had an advent calendar, and I thought this year was the year for that. 
Here's another item with little deer inside that I just had to get. And I know that you guys are pretty much done with this brand, but I have had a completely change of heart when it comes to items that everybody wants and everybody's in the know of. Like if everybody wants it, I'm in the stage of life where that means I don't want it. So now that everybody's over that brand, I am happy to display it and be my own person <laughs> and not like be following trend and hopefully not have everything that in my home that looks like everyone else. So that was part of what I was going for when I was decorating this year. I really wanted to bring out all the things that I've been giving um, by my mother-in-law over the last 30 years of our marriage or 33 years of our marriage. I wish I had more. I had gotten rid of a lot of stuff, especially when we moved. But yeah, I definitely was not aiming to get things that are popular or that everyone else has. That is just the stage of life that I find myself in. I just want to actually go a little bit against that. Just not have what everyone else has. I think that also goes back to my faith and just following Jesus and what's happened over the last few years. I am really not so earthly focused. I'm not focused on material things. I, I love beautiful things and I'm excited for Christmas and buying gifts for my family and just spending time with them. But my focus has completely changed from earthly things to Jesus things like I think about the kingdom and how I can be a better person and how I can further the kingdom of God and this is the whole reason why I'm doing this channel and in this way now because I want to do things with a purpose I don't want it to be just something that I do for entertainment and although I hope that you're finding value in what I'm doing and you're entertained by what I'm doing my main focus is to point you to Jesus to the love of Jesus to do things the way he would have you do them, not just to worry about the things of this world. So I hope that you are enjoying this journey with me. And as I continue to upload more videos and I continue to get a little more comfortable with sharing the word, I will post even more videos and talk even more about the, the love of God and what it means to be a Christian and how I even came to my faith after being away from it for 20 years. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoy spending the day with me and my family during this beautiful Christmas season. Remember that Jesus is the reason for the season and I will see you again in another video. Until next time, God bless you.